Bienvenidos amigos a un nuevo video, mi nombre es Facundo y espero que estén muy muy bien. Bueno amigos, hoy sí que les traigo un video muy especial porque vamos finalmente a entrevistar a Nefcas, uno de los administradores de los validators más importantes que tiene el mainnet de Crypto.org y sin duda es también una pieza fundamental en Cronos porque también Nefcas tiene validators en Cronos y por supuesto su RPC que maneja millones de transacciones al día. Vamos con una entrevista de 40 minutos imperdible donde hice preguntas en mi opinión que le van a parecer interesantes a toda la comunidad que invierte en Crypto.com y por supuesto las respuestas de Nefcas son invaluables. Antes de ir a la entrevista tengo que decirte dos cosas. La primera es que la entrevista está hecha en inglés porque Nefcas no habla español así que la tuve que hacer en inglés. Puedes ayudarte con los subtítulos de YouTube para seguir mejor la entrevista. Y la segunda cosa que te tengo que decir y pedirte disculpas por adelantado es que utilice un headset que mete bastante ruido en la conversación. Este ruido solamente cuando hago las preguntas, así que dentro de todo lo vas a escuchar a Nepka responder con mejor calidad. Con todo esto dicho, ahora sí, sin más introducción, vamos a la entrevista que es imperdible. Dale. Hey, hey Nepkas, how are you, man? Guten Tag, Herr Nepkas. Guten Tag, Herr Facundo. I'm fine, and you? Doing well, man. I mean, I'm super happy to have you here to make to be making this interview finally. Yes. For all the audience. And it's the first video interview with uh, Validator. It's my first forever. video. Yeah, it's the first video interview in my channel, and it's of course the first time an interview in a Validator. Uh, I mean, this important as you are for this channel, so it will be a very good video, and I think my audience been asking for this a lot. Huh? Yeah, fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, man, tell us, uh, we have questions for today, and uh, I know you are a little bit prepared, so better, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, the first one is Nefkas. Please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm 41 years old. I came originally from Germany. Uh, decided to move to Romania and uh, was living now a long time in Bucharest and now bought my own house here and uh, moved to Gruyo. Um, I'm an IT nerd since I'm 14 or so or 13. Started back in the days with an Amiga, all the progress. Uh, yeah, made really different jobs in my life from poor things to, to work in the garden for money to uh, to finance my studies uh, until IT jobs where the boss forgot to pay me and things like that you know the crazy stuff what happens to people yeah we have kind of a similar similar story because i also started uh very as a, as a kid with computers with the ibm xt then i had all the consoles uh of course as you i had a uh, small jobs then i started to work on it then you know i also had problems in jobs with it but things are looking better now i see that uh you are happy there in in, uh, in romania you now you bought yeah. your house so that's beautiful to hear man Yeah, that's the basics about me. I don't know. I could tell you, I don't know, stories, fairy tales about me, what I have seen in my life. But for that, we need a really different interview with uh, much more time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. So let's jump now with uh, directly, you know, with uh, questions about uh, Crypto.com, you know, CRO and all this. Um, yes, it So the second question I have for you, this is, this is a very important one. Huh? It says, what does it mean for you to know that you invented the term CROFAM? Did Crypto.com ever approach you on this matter? From where does it come from? Uh, no, they didn't. Uh, they never approached to me uh, for the CROFAM hashtag. But they, they use the CROFAM, but they use it. Yes, yes. <laughs> They started to use it after we all were using it, and after I invented it, um, they uh, jumped on the train. <laughs> and and uh, what was it feels for you to know that that you invented one day from where it came from, and now everyone is using it? Uh, I mean, crypto.com is using it is known around the world. Huh? 
Yes. Um, you know, uh, all the different tokens have different hashtags, maybe dot army and something like that and uh, there is a VET token um, a V chain I don't know if you heard about that yes yes and, yes and they have similar they call it VFAM and uh, I wanted to have for uh, crypto.com something what what uh, brings us into uh, into a family I mean we are not an army uh, cryptocurrency is not for soldiers it, it's for the mass and uh, it's for the families and i wanted to to give it a friendly image so that's why i choose profam it's a beautiful thought because yeah when you say a ship army for example it sounds like a, like we are going to war like a, we are in a fight like and what you are trying to say with profam is crypto is for everybody it's, it's like a family it's about love in some ways you know yeah uh, so Amazing that you came up with this hashtag. And you know, I remember from the early days, I, I, I found you on Twitter. We, yes. we, found, we found each other on Twitter. And I remember seeing you using Crofam from the early, early days. And you know, but it, it, took, it took some time to recognize that, yeah, I mean, it was Nefkas who invented this. No, Nefkas yes, is yes. the guy that administered the famous validator, you know? <laughs> And there's somewhere an audio where I explain it a bit more uh, on YouTube or so. Maybe you can link it in the uh, description or so. Yes, yes, I will. I will. I, I know that there, there was an interview or you explained this with uh, in a in a space probably in a Twitter space or yeah, sure. yeah. I will. I will look for it. So let me tell you. I mean, from from my side, I, I congratulations to you on inventing this uh, hashtag. This hashtag is used everywhere, and I think it will be in the history of crypto.com for as long as crypto.com lasts huh? yeah i hope so yeah and and every time when i see the hashtag being used it uh, it doesn't make me proud but it always gives me a smile on my face uh, when well, i see that people are using it that's very important man that's very important because i i believe someday uh crypto.com will will approach you about this <laughs> probably after <laughs> this video eh? we don't know huh? And uh, amazing what you did there. And again, con congratulations uh, for that. Thank you. So here comes the third question. And is in the universe of crypto, why do you opt for crypto.com and their token CRO? We know formerly CRO was just an uh, ERC20 token. It was nothing really special, let's say. Why the decision to go, to go all in into their new blockchain, into the mainnet, and not work with, let's say, BeChain or other other yes, uh, blockchains that are more established. Why do you choose CRO, knowing that CRO had a, a token based on Ethereum and they were building a blockchain, but they were starting? Tell us why. So I have to say, I jumped into Crypto.com uh, two years ago or so uh, with the MCO token. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the MCO token, I made a hundred percent win. So hey, yay! I like the company. <laughs> I started to follow them on Twitter, what they're announcing, and they were announcing that they will make um, a competition on the testnet. And so I thought, hmm, okay, let's look into the uh, into the testnet, how it works. Before I was a, a bit into, okay, how, how to mine Ethereum, how to mine uh, Bitcoin, but mm -hmm. they didn't they satisfy. Cl cl classical, classical mining. Yes, but, but, but I just uh, got into it for understanding how that uh, works there. So, but I, I never made it uh, with the thought I could earn some money with it. That was never my intention, just to understand, understand the technology behind of it. And then I saw this uh, Twitter post from crypto.com that they will start the testnet. And I thought, hey, I go in, let's check what I can learn. And uh, then they announced they will make a competition, the Crossfire event. And I thought, hmm, oh, if I'm not too bad, maybe I can make thousand bucks. So. And I got deeper into it, deeper into it, and you enter yeah. into the rabbit hole. 
Yes, yes. And I start to optimize things to let it work better, don't miss blocks. And of course, uh, the people need things. to know that you work on IT, that you you, you are, are proficient on, on, on uh, you know, on managing, let's say, a, a, a Linux, uh, the terminal, the command line. You, you know, yes, you knew all this stuff from before. So you put everything together and you started to learn about how to set yes. up this validator, how to, how to, the proof of office state works and all this. So finally, I had something where I could put all my knowledge into it. I had to think, okay, I learned so many different things in my life. And that's the reason here. I, I can can use everything of it. Amazing. Amazing. And um, so, okay, it's, I didn't knew that this all started actually on Twitter. You know what I say, what I say uh, to my audience all the time? Open a Twitter account if you are going to invest in crypto because the future of crypto is defined on Twitter. Yeah. You know, a lot that will happen around crypto will happen on Twitter. It will be announced there. So, yeah, it's amazing to know that also for you, it started, you know, you saw the poll of crypto.com or the competition and you went in. Amazing. I didn't knew this, so it's beautiful to be doing this interview to, to know it now. Yeah. Right? And, nice. and I think... I think Twitter is a bit more serious than Telegram or so. Telegram gives it all a bit of dark touch so uh, from the underworld or so and uh, creepy stuff and so on. I like the transparency of Twitter and uh, it's a bit more... Even, you know, the, even that Twitter is, is full of bots and full of, of, of accounts that yeah. is only hating. But if you know how to use Twitter, it's a very powerful tool. Huh? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, about, tell me, tell me. Uh, about the bots on Twitter, they were always um, using the hashtag CRO. And uh, when I was searching on Twitter for a crow, they give me all the bot results. And uh, to invi invent a crow farm mm -hmm. was one reason to go over the bots, that oh. they couldn't fool me with... Uh, nice. With something so i was looking for crow farm and i found uh, so that i can find uh, crypto.com related uh nice result. nice nice so so if you use crow farm it wasn't being a call so much by all these bots so it was easier to i see what yes. you mean amazing yeah. amazing i didn't knew this so the four question is how was the process to to become a validator you i, I already told a little bit but uh, the, the question goes more into is it, it was difficult it, it, it required a lot of work or not T tell us a little bit um, how to become a validator um, it started with the testnet uh, I participated in all testnets testnet one two three four crossfire event and uh, I, I made a I think a serious job there a good job and uh, I made a good place on the Crossfire event, and um, uh, I also set up that uh, explorer for the crypto.org chain, where you can see your transaction. And I was one of the first who ever made things like that to do something for the community. And, wh and while you were doing this, you were having a direct contact, let's say, with the de developers on the crypto.com side, or, or how it is? Um, there are always some crypto.com uh, stuff in the Discord channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, with some I talked, with some not. Uh, we got familiar there with other validators. We helped each other how to optimize things and so on. And um, after the Crossfire event was uh, done, we got our rewards. And uh, I used the rewards from the Crossfire event to stake to my own validator. So to be able in the top 100 list of uh, the active validators. I so see. there are only 100 uh, validators on the crypto.org chain. They uh, get rewards for um, their activity. And uh, in the beginning, I really had problems to maintain my uh, validator because I didn't have enough money to stake to my own validator to be in the top 100. Okay. And uh, that was really a hard time. <clears throat> I, I was almost broke then because I put everything on the validator. And uh, also, I maintained the Explorer and uh, the servers that I want, rented weren't so, good so, enough. So, 
So you had you had a, uh, a you know a, a budget that you put your money also your money in to to self delegation. You had to pay for the services to 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 keep the server up. To so you you yes, yes. you really took took a risk and you do it, you did it all by yourself. Yes, yes, I did it all by myself. But uh, I ask a bit in public in the Discord channel if someone can support me a bit. And from one came 20 euro, from one other five euro. And that helped in the first two months to maintain the servers and uh, to just keep everything alive. And uh, after a while, um, Crypto.com uh, saw that, that I do a good job there. And they staked some of uh, their own crow into my validator. Wow, wow. That, so, that so was a special that, day, yeah? Yes, yes. Uh, I was looking at the validator. Uh, what's the f*** here? And then <laughs> I got in the DeFi wallet listed on position one. And wow. so many people staked into my validator. I, I we have to, we, that. But we have to, to, to make the, uh, the audience understand that this wasn't easy. You had to risk your own money. You had to work a lot without knowing what was the outcome. So you really put a yes, lot. Yes. yes, I put everything into it. <laughs> but yeah. I like it to, to do that stuff and uh, to, to do something there. That it, it it, was, it's, it's, it's more fun than working in an office, right? Yeah, it, it was a pleasure for me to do that. But um, there were days uh, when I worked the whole day and night, I mean, 18 hours a day. And this, especially... this, is, what, this is what I people, uh, I want people to know this. I want to people to know the effort that, that you have. Yeah. Behind. I mean, um, you work 18 hours a day and like something on the crossfire event you, you sleep next to your pc to monitor when you wake up until you fall asleep you fall asleep next to the pc because to manage the thing things what happens there are too many transactions yeah. uh server stuck uh, you start to miss blocks uh, you have to rethink uh, the blockchain and it was really like babysitting some of the people on the Discord server, called it babysitting the validator. And in the beginning, really, it was babysitting the validators until everything went up fine and uh, I could let it alone. Amazing, amazing. So this next question, you, you will like it because it says, once you got all up and running, did it ever cross your mind that you will be as big as you are today? Do you ever no. thought uh, one no. day I will I will be in the top ten or I I will be uh, you know um, recognized like this by Crypto.com? No, never. I could never imagine that uh, I'm now who I am. I mean, I know a lot of projects are uh, uh, rely on my service, especially on Kronos, on the RPC service. There's uh, Mad Market Finance. There's yeah, Codex. Yeah. Yes, it will be to pay. Um, uh, agro. You know, pe people people doesn't know uh, how important your services are, huh? because people mainly I think they know you because of your validator on mainnet, because they are delegating on your validator. I, for example, uh, you are I delegate on six validators, but you are the one I'm putting the higher amount. You, yeah. you know this for for a long time, even from the beginning. But people maybe doesn't know about Kronos, about the work you did on Kronos and, and how they are using your app, your RPC. A lot of, of these distributed apps are using your RPC. Um, if, if I would now switch off my uh, infrastructure, I guess Kronos chain would have a, a high, high problem. Yeah, you it, couldn't read. <laughs> this is important to know. Kronos people, you should hear us. You should hear, uh, this is why it was important to do this interview, you see? <laughs> the amount of traffic you're managing is very important, I would say crucial, huh, at this point. Yeah, um, I don't know how much it is, 150 million transactions a day or so. Yeah, um, that's, the, that's the, next, the next question. Give us some numbers on your validators. Tell us a little bit about your infrastructure, what, what uh, you can say. That's for geeks. <laughs> For, for nerds, um, yeah, I have 
a good reliable infrastructure, something like 20 plus dedicated servers, uh, several load balancers, they are working redundant. Uh, and, and important for people to know that you use physical servers, huh? In data centers. Yes, physical servers. You, you cannot make it. You cannot make it with cloud servers. That's a no go. Good because point. on cloud servers, uh, it's virtualization, and with virtualization, you always have an additional routing point for the traffic, mm -hmm. and uh, that makes the response slow. And uh, when you set direct on on the hardware bare metal, you, you can faster interact with the blockchain, you can faster interact with the dubs. Um, I can sync faster my RPC servers to the validator and um, I can send you later some screenshots or so that you can see uh, how much blocks I miss and uh, how are my uh, response time for the RPC servers compared to other servers on the blockchain. I see, I see. So, so what you're saying I, is if, if you are virtualizing, you have this layer of virtualization on the, on the network layer and this will bring problems with the transactions in the... In the yes, network. yes, that, that brings only problems. I, since the beginning on, on the test nets, I only relied on bare metal. I mean, mm -hmm. so the Crossfire event, uh, I, I can tell you, I managed that with uh, Intel Core i5, uh, 4,440. It's from 2013 or 2015 or so. But I managed it. I, I made the made it spare metal and uh, well configured, and I was able to do it with that old machine. And your servers, you have them on Germany, right? What? Your your servers, you have them on on Germany? Uh, yeah, uh, most of them are hosted in Germany. Mm -hmm. Okay, so physical servers hosted in Germany. Of course, you're yeah. you're doing a big investment on this. Uh, yes. Yeah. Bare metal, as you said, uh, high internet, uh, high uh, you know a high broadband internet connection. Of course, for it. Yes. Uh, yes. Managing a lot of traffic. So it's you know these are things that people need to know. The, the the work that is behind. It's not just one server that you're maintaining. You're maintaining several servers. You also have a low balancer. Comes all the networking part. It's, it's yeah. I, I, I mean, it it has to be made in a in a way that it's reliable. I mean, even if one load balancer falls out, mm -hmm. and uh, one or two servers from the RPC system falling out, uh, they has to jump in a backup solution uh, just right in the second that um, that the projects are, are not offline. Yeah, yeah. So you have a high availability on these on these services. Yes, 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 yes. All servers are multi redundant uh, uh, to manage all this. Yes, and um, about the traffic, it, it's not so much traffic uh, in uh, megabytes or gigabytes or so. It's um, it's in the frequency of transactions. Uh, how many mm -hmm. there is and um, transactions per second. Yeah. Yes, yes, and um, as I mentioned before, up to 150 million uh, requests a day or so is, uh, yeah. So th this next question is, comes, you know, together is how much work is to manage and maintain this. If you can give us just, a, you know, like a, a number of, you can say to us, I work this amount per day now, or if you can tell us. Uh, that's really different. Um, there are days where you sit 16 hours in front of the uh, of the console and uh, managing everything and uh, there are days when you don't have to take care about everything i see um, but um, lately uh, the chain got a bit slow because of the high amount of transactions so on, on the weekends, I'm prepared uh, to jump in quickly if something happens we are um, talking about chronos right Yes, about corners to, to give some extra resources or so to fast set up a new server if it's needed. Um, yeah, on, on the weekends, it's a bit more stressful. Yeah. Okay, so comes the, ne the next question about Kronos. When crypto.com announced Kronos, because this was afterwards, right? Uh, do yeah. you knew from the beginning you would also have a validator on Kronos and, you know, and RPCs for this new blockchain? Uh, you, you, you knew from the beginning I will jump into this. 
Uh, no, uh, I, I didn't know at all that I will go into the Kronos network because the Kronos network was uh, by invitation only. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you couldn't uh, just go there and um, start a validator like on uh, the core crypto org network. Because they and, use proof uh, of authority, right? Is the, yes, yes. Is the proof model, of authority. Yes. And uh, one day I was in Discord and uh, suddenly I got a DM from one crypto.com staff and they asked me if I want to participate as a validator on Kronos. Wow. Uh, yeah, and I said yes. Okay, I mean, <laughs> so so that's and this is why, of it. course, you are you are featured in the in the Kronos.org. If you go to validators, we can see that your name is there, of course. Yes, yes. I think they saw my uh, reliability uh, on the Crypto Org network with the validator or what I was doing there, and uh, after that, uh, they selected the best validators from the Crypto Org chain to become validators on the Kronos chain. Okay, amazing, amazing, and amazing the amount of D apps that are that are using your RPC. Can you tell yes. us a little bit the difference between say, saying RPC and saying the validator itself? Just a little bit. Um, RPC server is uh, is a gateway to the blockchain. Mm -hmm. um, if if you have a DeFi project uh, that wants to interact with the blockchain, mm -hmm. they need uh, the RPC endpoint to interact with the blockchain. It's what people put in the DeFi wallet, so so they know. When yes, they configure yes. the network, yes. Yes, yes, like a MetaMask, they, they put the server exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the gateway into the Kronos network. Mm -hmm. And uh, Crypto.com itself has still some problems with their own endpoints to manage all the high traffic. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought, okay, I, I make it here, use it for free or so. And then I got the first request if I can set up a node for someone else and uh, to set up a node for them. And, and so it was uh, talked around that I can handle this and I did. Beautiful, man, beautiful. So in your view, what is the future of CRO and crypto.com? This is an important question for all of us. Uh -huh. Now, what is the future of CRO and crypto.com? Mm. Tja, I, I don't have any uh, thoughts or ideas about that. Um, I think uh, the crypto.org chain uh, goes a bit in, in the background, but corners, I think there is a lot of potential behind of this. And um, I, I always think... Uh, a, a bit to the past when crypto.com had uh, so much contact with uh, Visa mm -hmm. and um, I still can imagine that at one point when Visa will start something with blockchains that crypto.com will be their partner so but if you see what the company let's say if you see what the company been doing and what the, they are doing and of course, as you said, the main net has a slow roadmap compared to what Kronos is now. Yeah. Kronos is in the, now in the top 10 DeFi blockchains and all that. But when you see the company, what do you think to yourself? You, 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 you think, okay, these guys really goes into the long term. It, yeah, it, it, I, will I, really I... Last, it will really last. I don't know how much crypto world will last, but I know crypto.com will last a lot. This is what you think when you see what they are doing? Yes, uh, I think crypto.com will last long and will blow out Binance uh, uh, because crypto.com tries to make everything uh, waterproof. I mean, they get the licenses from the different markets, from different countries uh, to be legal there. Binance, did everything at once, didn't ask anybody uh, about the legal stuff. Uh, and now they got blocked from market to market. And um, I think crypto.com makes it right. I mean, yeah, they make it solid. So they go as slow, slowly, but I, I, as we it's saw, steady. for example, the exchange in the United States took a long while only to enable it for some institutional users. It's not yet open to the public because I guess they don't have the right license yet. Yes, yes, yes. And Binance doesn't care about this. They just do it until they get blocked from that country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, Binance maybe goes into the model of let's make it work for 
as long as it lasts. Doesn't matter. We 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 took we took the winnings. We took the the gain. Next, and crypto yeah. maybe wants to establish and establish to know they will last on the long I, term. I have, no? I have this quote from an old man there in my head, um, and he, he said, "Do it right, and you will never regret it." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what so. you mean. I see what you mean. So. We are uh, starting to into the end of the interview now, going into the end of the interview. So I guess, Nepkas, you are your own boss now, right? Uh, yeah. Tell us how crypto changed your life. Oh, uh, a lot. <laughs> 180 degree. Um, there's a lot of um, responsibility. Uh, what I carry with me. I mean, uh, about the projects on the Conos uh, chain and so I I have that always in my bag so that I um, <clears throat> responsible for this. Mm -hmm. um, but on the other side, it gave me financial freedom uh, more than I could ever imagine. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'm my own boss. I mean, I, I can sleep until 12 o'clock or when there's an update from the Kronos chain, I have to wake up at five o'clock in the morning. So um, so you have I, responsibilities, of course, but as you said, you, you said something very powerful. You know, my channel is about financial freedom. You know, my YouTube yes, channel yes. Is, is what I'm trying to teach to the Spanish community because, you know, investing and uh, you know, and all these kind of risks and stuff for, for, for the Spanish community it was always a taboo, you know? Yes. So this is why I opened my channel. I decided to, to do it in Spanish, to, to reach people from South America, where I come from, uh, in, of course, in Europe, in the United States, there's a lot of people that speak Spanish. And you said something very powerful, financial freedom. T tell us how it is, because I guess you already accomplished this or probably you are uh, already living on it. How it is to, to feel like I don't need a salary anymore? Because I know, I know, because we people doesn't know, but we talk in the past that you had jobs that were bad in, in your health. You had all these office jobs for for money, and 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 I know I've been there too. So how it is? How it is to 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 be in this position now? Um. Yeah, uh, first of all, the blockchains are transparent. Everybody out there can uh, count how much I earn. So it's not a secret. If you want to find out how much I earn, you will find it out on the blockchain. Mm -hmm. You can calculate it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I really have already that financial freedom. Um, I don't uh, need to think about if I want to buy a piece of good meat or uh, I, I can just buy it. Um, but I, I'm, I'm still grounded. I mean, does a boy need more than two pa pair of shoes? <laughs> so, yeah. so uh, and uh, I don't see the reason why I should pay more than 50 euro for a pair of shoes. So uh, I see, I see. You take care of so, money. It doesn't matter if uh, you are in this position now, this financial yeah, position. So, and, and I bought a used car with 200,000 kilometer on it. Uh, so, it's because I like it. It doesn't have to be a new car for me or something like that. You, you, so you don't need the Lambo, one Lambo, all that? <laughs> no. No, no, I don't uh, need that at all. I mean, I have a wonderful daughter of five years. I have a beautiful wife. Uh, I have two cats, a dog. Uh, I, I'm pleased with everything. Okay. But, um, we can see you're uh, a ha you're, you. We can see you're a happy man. Huh? We can see it. Huh? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it, it, even in earlier years, I mean, when I, I worked for five euro an hour, mm -hmm. yes, five euro an hour. Yeah. I, I was cleaning oil tanks from inside. You know. Wow. For for um for what uh, radiators with oil. I clean the tanks from inside. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean. Uh, I uh, did uh, jobs in my life, but um, I could 
really always tell to myself uh, everything what I did, I uh, did it with proud. Um, there was never something I was ashamed of uh, doing something. So mm -hmm. uh, I, I did what I had to do. Good, good to know. Amazing, amazing words. So what would you recommend to someone who wants to get this deep in blockchain technology? Someone ah. that hears, a, you know, has a little bit maybe of IT background and, and, and yeah. invest already in crypto and says, okay, I want to get deep into blockchain technology. I want to get deep into this. What, what would you say to this person? You need time. <laughs> a lot of time. A lot of time. Um, you, you need to know how to uh, work with Google. Yeah. Because Google is always your friend. You can yes. find for everything mm -hmm. a solution. Um, uh, go into the, the dev channels, like from crypto.org, go into the dev discord channels. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, go into contact with uh, other people there. Build up something, a network uh, to help each other. Um, sometimes when someone asks something on the Discord channel, I answer them and uh, give them some help and they even say, hey, I pay you for your time. No, it's not about paying or so. Um, try to settle up a good network uh, that you have some people around you. Um, maybe someone knows good to program uh, something uh, with JavaScript or so. And you have some other guys who are network admins. So um, you cannot do really everything by yourself. You need always someone who can help you out. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. amazing. amazing. Start, with, start with the test nets, set up some nodes, uh, make some transactions. Try out load balancing, uh, reverse proxy, uh, engine X. Um, yeah, it's you will have to work. work. You will have to work, yeah. and you will have you to will have, have to work. Yeah. And you will have a, it, and you need time. <laughs> yes, you need time. There's nothing what you can do two hours a day and uh, expect after a half a year uh, you are deep into it. Uh, you need really time and uh, and you need the fire in you. Yeah, you, need the fire you, to, you need the passion. Ah. You need the passion. Yeah. 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 So I have one last question. This one is out of out of the script. Tell tell us to the tell to the to my to the audience watching the video if you know the life rabbits. What? Tell tell the audience if you know the life rabbits. Sure, I know the <laughs> life rabbit. I, I own almost every. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I think I have a lot of them. 10, 12, uh, I don't know. Uh, different, yeah. I have, to say to, I have to say to the audience, when I did my first drop, my first NFT, Nefcast went in and bought almost all of them, not the one that now costs one million, that one day it will sell, but you bought, <laughs> bought almost all of them. Yeah. And also did more drops on the Life Rabbits and you bought them more. And... Um, yeah, you have something with rabbits, huh? Yes, I have something with rabbits. I love rabbits. And uh, they are really sketch beautiful. And uh, I love rabbits. <laughs> I'm so happy, man, that you own the life rabbits and you like them. And, uh, you know, for me, it was so important. I want to thank you for supporting the, these drops, supporting the sure. channel. You also been uh, in the background uh, buying the fact token on Solana. You've been on, yes. on my live uh, streamings. Man, I can only say thanks to you for all of this and for giving me this interview. Thanks a hundred lot. But uh, I also have to thank you. I mean, we are co yeah. uh, I help you, you help me. Uh, we are a family. Yeah, yeah, we are family, and, that's it. And, uh, I, I will be soon to your new house, huh? I will be Yeah, there. sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it will last uh, a bit, <laughs> half a year until everything is done. Uh, it's a lot more work than I thought, but um, uh, I had some thought in my mind before. Um, I wanted to say something. I forgot. Huh. Okay, but uh, I, I know it was important, but in the next interview. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, thank you very much for everything. And uh, of course, for the people that doesn't know, Nefcast has his validators on mainnet. On Kronos, you can go and delegate to his validator 100% uptime, right? I mean, yes. uh, no slashing, everything works. 
and of course yeah. you're helping him with his with his job because of course there is a fee but you have to pay for a good service it's like that so i encourage yeah, sure. people to of course to delegate i always say in my channel you are in the number and, one validator uh, in my main net where i where i put my group and you have always to reinvest your money. I mean, you can't buy a server and uh, assume that it will run the next five years. Um, uh, if, if the corners chain are growing, I, I, I told you personally uh, what I invested lately, and uh, I'm going in the next phase. I will uh, buy my data center host a completely wreck and uh, host my own servers because they can't uh, deliver the uh, performance that I need mm -hmm. and um, so yeah. you're buying the whole the whole uh, rack and, and, and I mean yeah that's... I will rent a, I will rent a rack and put them on server so okay okay good to know good to know so I hope we can do another interview in the future to see where we are where we are with all of sure. this and um, thanks again man thanks a lot again yeah. I hope you will see us this year yeah, of course, man. Take care. <laughs> you too. Ciao, ciao. Have a nice day. Bye. Tschüss. 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 Bueno amigos, hasta aquí este video, espero que les haya gustado. De más está decir que este canal no hace contenido en inglés. Esta fue una excepción porque teníamos que entrevistar a Nefcast. Nos dio información muy valiosa y por supuesto muy interesante que alguien tan importante de la Agrofam nos dé sus puntos de vista. Con todo esto dicho, ahora sí, les deseo una gran semana, cuídense mucho y recuerden, siempre recuerden, si a ustedes les va bien, a mí me va bien. Chau.